sustainability is a really wonderful term because what it means is that companies are taking a long-term outlook and are thinking about long-term success, what's best for clients, what's best for stakeholders, what's best for the economy and the world over the longer term. And so it helps avoid making those short-term decisions that can often result in great gains, but then problems down the road. And so to me, sustainability is just incredibly holistic and it means being a good corporate steward in the best sense of that word. Thinking about all the different constituents, thinking holistically, and acting with a long-term perspective, with long-term sustainability, with success in mind over the longer term. Well, we talked about not just defining sustainability, but we talked about a variety of other topics, including the rise of populism and nationalism, in particular economic nationalism, and how that could negatively impact sustainability. Because when individuals, when corporations, when governments are motivated by protectionism, by putting themselves first in terms of economic nationalism, what often happens is that concepts and topics like um, issues like the environment are neglected. Um, and as a result, um, you become, uh, you, you, you're taken back to a more short-term focus as opposed to that long-term focus that makes you a better steward. Well, unfortunately, I think one of the biggest challenges is that emergence of populism and nationalism, which is causing countries to turn inward, to reject globalization. And interestingly, globalization has a wonderful effect on, on countries in terms of encouraging them to do good, uh, encouraging them to meet uh, peers' expectations. So I think that's certainly an issue. Beyond that, though, it is creating a catalyst which makes individuals want to act. Uh, and that is especially so in certain countries like the United States where there's not as much of a focus on environmental protection. Where there is a, a, a minority of people, but a significant minority, that believes that climate change is fake news. Um, we have to figure out a way to get people to recognize just how dire the situation is with the environment and to act immediately in terms of changing their behaviors.